ஆஹா அண்ட் பிஎம்எஃப் சவுத் இந்தியா ஃபிலிம் ஃபெஸ்டிவல் பிரசன்டெட் பை ஸ்ப்ரைட் லக்ஸரி பார்ட்னர் கோலர் வெல்னஸ் பார்ட்னர் வி கேர் ஹேர் அண்ட் ஸ்கின் கிளினிக் ஸ்ட்ரென்த் பார்ட்னர் பாரதி சிமெண்ட்ஸ் ரொமான்ஸ் பார்ட்னர் கேட்பரி சில் அண்ட் ஸ்பெஷல் பார்ட்னர் ஸ்ட்ரீக்ஸ் என்டர்டெயின்மெண்ட் பார்ட்னர் மிர்ச்சி நைன்டி எயிட் பாயிண்ட் த்ரீ எஃப்எம் அண்ட் கானா அவுட்டோர் பார்ட்னர் லீட் ஸ்பேஸ் டிஜிட்டல் பார்ட்னர் சிட்டி மீடியா இன்ஃப்ளூயன்சா பார்ட்னர் டிஜிவுட் சப்போர்ட்டட் பை தி நியூஸ் What was it that sparked that foray into setting up uh, a people media factory? Passion for movies always existed, but I never thought I could make films. But when I developed the curiosity of making films, it took a few years for me to understand. There, there's a barrier, it's not easy to make films. The strategy I approached is to get into a factory model so that uh, my efforts and investment is not for one movie, but I can make uh, plenty of them. there are many peop- many many uh, folks in the audience who said they want to make film they want to make films they're struggling to make one film you were fortunate enough to have the revenues behind you so definitely And- the tech company is my backbone it's like can i make one film or many films i saw it is the same effort to cross the barrier so i took the many film approach so did you face such barriers in your first film when you were making it plenty you have a process approach and you have creativity so how do you marry creativity with creativity with process lot of people says creativity ends when there is a process but uh, i try educating people if you want to switch on a camera there is a process how do you envision the pipeline every year or let's say for the next 3 years 5 years and how do you go about building the entire thing because it's not simple all i say to the film makers is uh, follow your passion be persistent you'll be successful you're a technology pioneer in the united states of america so tell us a bit about your uh, you know what you do in the us your company is based in seattle you work with the automobile sector basically i'm from a tech background i'm a software engineer worked here for years and then living in us for last 30 years so i i run a company called people tech so we basically do a mobility data services with about 2500 people world, worldwide and like any other telugu person in the world uh, or many of the telugu people in the world we are all passionate of movies and when you live out of country your affinity to films will develop even more So in the process I'm used to run events to stay connected with the culture back and that, that's one of the bridge for all the people living in US is how we can connect with Indian events and that gave me a connection into the industry and at some point I got I got a little more curious on why I cannot make films and maybe I'll discuss more in the chat but yeah, that's how I got into industry the solution that you offer which is uh, mobility solutions in the US. You told me that uh, General Motors, almost all their cars have it. Can you tell us a little more about that? Then we'll go move on to cinema because you're also offering entertainment solutions along with what's going in the car, if I'm correct. Basically, uh, People Tech, we do a lot of the tech services. I live in Seattle, so very closely work with uh, Amazon and Microsoft. And uh, in the early part, we build some solutions uh, it's called connected car services and through that uh, we got in, into an engagement uh, with general motors it's been about a 10 year journey starting with uh, developing whatever you interact in the car it's called hmi human machine interface from there we built various components in the car yeah we deliver about 10 million cars uh, our solution gets delivered to a 10 million car vehicles in a year come on guys He's made an impact in the US. Round of applause for him. Well done sir. Engineering, technology, when you when you're doing that kind of a specialized uh, 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 you know profession, it helps you break everything down into components. So is that what helped you when you decided to get into cinema and and what was it that sparked you? Did you watch a film which you thought you could have made? What was it that sparked that foray into 
setting up uh, a people media factory? Like I said, uh, starting from my engineering… Events, I understand. You were doing events. No. But that's okay. But that's not what would have no. sparked it. It's not events. Starting my engineering days, yeah, we watch movies. Like I used to watch uh, four or five films in a week during my studies. When I got into my profession, yeah, I had certain constraints once I went to US. The opportunity to watch movies is in CDs or DVDs. And then I think it took 10 years for us to start watching movies in theaters. Passion for movies always existed, but I never thought I could make films. But when I developed the curiosity of making films, it took few years for me to understand. And uh, I can go more deep, but uh, uh, th there's a barrier. It's not easy to make films. We'll come to that. So who amongst the filmmakers inspired you then when you, when you, when you started seeing film in theaters uh, in the US, especially Telugu cinema? See, I, I've been watching movies since my childhood. And I told in many interviews, I'm a biggest fan of... Uh, uh, Chiranjeevi. Along with that, I watch pretty much most of the movies that comes uh, into theatres. So, the inspiration for making films is not uh, related to that. So, watching movies is always a passion. Making movies is initial curiosity. When I saw the barrier, why not I make it? So, that's how I started my journey. The strategy I approached is to get into a factory model so that uh, my efforts and investment is not for one movie but I can make uh, plenty of them. And you could do that because you had a historical uh, revenue model, which was your tech company. There are many, peop many, many uh, folks in the audience who said they want to make films, they want to make films. They're struggling to make one film. So you were fortunate enough to have the revenues behind you. So definitely and the tech company is my backbone. Like uh, it, it would have not been possible to enter into the industry without the backing that I had more from a financial and as well as uh, my thought process on how I can build an organization. So again, it's like, can I make one film or many films? I saw it is the same effort to cross the barrier, so I took the many film approach. So what are the barriers which normally a person faces? See, normally if you take the industry, like uh, at a high level you call 24 crafts. There's a story, there's a artists that are required and there are various technicians and uh, and when you do a production or pre-production and production, there's a huge amount of collaboration that is required. With no expertise or experience, it's difficult to bring all of them together, manage into a cost, create the right content and take it to the public. Learning is what you need. Like I generally call supply chain, normally that's not the word used in the industry, like any any process you go, there is a supply chain. What is your supply? What is your uh, process to take the raw to end product and how you take it to the customer? Again, it's the demand. The complexities involved in filmmaking is at least 100 times more humongous than a uh, yeah, moderate product. So the key thing that runs uh, in filmmaking is the passion and uh, persistence. So if, if you have the perseverance and if you have the passion, you can cross the barrier and the barrier is high for any new entry. So did you face such barriers in your first film when you were making it? I know you did a pipeline kind of a, you had a pipeline of films, but did you face those barriers bringing together, assembling together the cast, the crew, the technicians? Plenty. So it took few years for us, for me to really understand. Yeah, you can, what I had was a financial strength and some connections. And uh, it takes time. Like when you get in, there's a possible exploitation that could happen and you need to go through a lot of discovery and then I realized yeah, you get exploited if you just try to do one at a time but if you can do many you get a balance of it and you can have several learnings that you could apply you lose ones and you make it into another fantastic so now you have a different approach to it like you said you have a supply chain raw material end product delivering it to the customer uh, you also have a different vision for your own group you're looking at uh, building a connected entertainment ecosystem. Can you tell us a little more about that, the connected entertainment ecosystem? When I started People Media Factory, again, as I said, uh, I wanted to take a factory approach. Again, for many, it felt like a... Uh, and also, there was a historical uh, data that says, like, when you come and make an announcement of many films at a time, you'll be looked as 
a suspicious person and majority of who try to do in the past making that one time announcement fail to deliver so I, we took a cautious approach we played very low i released about four films in 2018 and uh, continue to release at the similar scale every year two to three films or four films at a in a year but we never try to make the brand more visible we worked on understanding the system like uh, i come from a typical process consulting background uh, what i've done is uh, called discovery first you understand the system understand the process and uh, for me to meet my factory model objectives to deliver volume with quality the quality era is again what variety of content you can deliver to what genres and what uh, audience uh, i saw a significant need to clean up lot of things in the system there's lot of inefficiencies when i say clean up lot of inefficiencies in every step and the num- the amount of collaboration you need to do between various parties if you take one activity there in that single activity ecosystem there will be hundreds of players and you need to collaborate with all of them so to solve our goal or to create a plan for our goal i started investing on to the ecosystem so it's not just producing a film so i invested into lot of post production infrastructure and having a collaboration relation with the key players in that system so starting from content creation or the concept creation to release process we built an ecosystem now or we are in the process of building an ecosystem so i have investments into every step in the ecosystem so that uh, we can build a robust uh, film making process that's in the scripting process that's in the music that's in uh, building characters that's in uh, uh, virtual pro- vfx and production post production in virtual production that's the entire value chain you're talking about yeah the, we don't call vfx but it's more concept creation and vfx the, all you said is in the pre concept process even before you make a film what you need to do a uh, lot of times people go they want to have a reference i just do a remake or some script which went through a two year three year cycle on validating and uh, multiple levels of uh, uh, revisions and reviews can make a film but if you have to shorten it and you want to do a various genres and content you need to have a different way of how you want to build a content so uh, i have not made a public announcement so far but uh, i created a concept called uh, content factory so where uh, we employ about uh, 200 people full time professionals in creating this libraries of uh, various forms of content so that we are prepared to deliver original content uh, films in future fantastic so now you have a process approach and you have creativity how do you marry all this together because uh, you know uh, cinema is all about passion cinema is all about uh, a vision by a man who either the writer or the director who, who interprets the writer what the writer has done so how do you marry creativity with pro- creativity with process lot of people says creativity ends when there is a process but uh, i try educating people if you want to switch on a camera there is a process if you don't understand the function of a camera and how you are going to organize a camera you cannot even capture a content you cannot capture a audio you cannot capture a video every step of film making as a process but lot of people may follow it as a practice so so you need to separate creativity and process separately so you still need to have a creativity but you need a process to capture the creativity so we 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 try to understand and differentiate when you apply a process how you apply a process and how you educate the creative side of it on how it can how a process can help an example an extraordinary director will know exactly what he wants to film so he will exactly plan the days and there are few directors who say i don't even take a master shot because he exactly know what he wants to do and that knowledge comes with is ability to understand our experience but a process can help how that person is doing so that you can educate other people to follow similar practices i don't say exactly so we will deep dive into the creative elements and see how we can use a process to derive the better output from various 
resources on the creative side wow amazing if you can marry that because many people think that it's impossible that there are filmmakers who will look at the script and they'll undo the script and they'll do their especially directors and they'll do what they want to do so it requires a lot of courage as a producer to be able to push that down the director's throat see it's a balancing act yeah. I, I, i'll just give an example i run a tech company i, I work with various resources some are thoroughly process oriented some not particularly we have something called user experience which has a lot of the creative elements the adoption of them to a process is different to a developer to a tester to somebody who runs production so yeah the process don't stay uniform you need to adjust again it's a balancing act there's no rule it's process so driven or a person driven way, then the process gives way to the director's vision or the or the or the actors interpretation of what what is written in the script it, it's like the so only the, the only constant in the world is a change like that yeah process is people adaptable so yeah it, okay it applies to people and people apply to process it's a two okay. way okay now coming back to content how do you see your you know you've got a pipeline of uh, you said you've done 30 films how do you envision the pipeline every year or let's say for the next 3 years 5 years and how do you go about building the entire thing because it's not simple uh because you you're following a studio model like is there in the US excepting you're not commissioning production houses to make it for you you're doing it yourself if i'm correct correct so typically for a film from the con- the concept to the release the cycle time is anywhere from 1 to 4 years so we've been in the industry for almost 7 years now so we released about 30 films we have about 7 or 8 which are ready to be released and about 15 to 20 in the making so and there's another 30 40 which are in the very early stage of the concept like and with the content factory there are lot more uh, scripts that are getting evolved so again the planning goes on uh, we do across uh, languages and our goal is goal is to do world cinemas like we, we want to target more pan world and it takes time the journey may take about 2 to 5 years uh, to get to the pan world so again it goes by the demand like hey, how many we can make in telugu so we can do about 10 in a year where we can release uh, in various uh, formats how many i can get do in tamil kannada hindi and what are we do what is the reach we can take is it to a region or to the country or to the pan world and what is the role you play you have professionals with you you've got 200 people in the content factory what is the role you play uh, you yourself as a you you're, you're one man there are so many projects going on you have your own technology company in the us and what role do you play and you're here also putting this together along with indian television.com and our media we're doing the production part so god you must be having uh, 15 brains and uh, 200 hands uh, hundreds of brains and multiply by two hands it's called pmf and its team i understand so but now what is the role you play specifically in understanding all this and the founder and ceo no so no in, in in terms of see because there are so many scripts so many genres so many things under production so many things being developed concept what where do you come in developing many brains to integrate other brains okay so you're basically you delegate a lot 100% Okay so you may not even know which film is being uh, produced down the line or do you know it reasonably reasonably it's so, more from information gathering so so there is films you also developing series or no yeah it's like i i never listen to a script but i understand the script enough to make the film so i have a process of how i collect the information about the script and you work with the best directors so far or or with emerging directors new directors with some ex directors with some experience tell us something about the slate that you've done so far so we work with most of the leading actors leading directors and we also give a equal opportunity for the emerging directors and actors so we do a very small film we do a youtube short film to the largest films like the films what we make with uh, prabhas you've got a film coming out next week a week after next or a month from now there are three films that are ready for release right or there's more so one we made we are looking for a release date right now 
is called ma kali so this this film is uh, with the background of uh, caa how that is the citizens citizens amendment, amendment act yeah. you want me to talk more about it yeah, please go ahead yeah <laughs> as i said i live in uh, us and i live in seattle when in 2019 when the caa act bill was passed the city of redmond and the city of seattle passed a resolution against uh, ca and everyone felt oh it is a islamophobia if you are talking in support of ca you are a islamophobia so it was just a curious thing of hey, why is it so when i got about this subject the entire movie is about hindu phobia there is a hindu phobia that existed and the ca is for the benefit of the people minorities who got impacted in the neighboring countries and giving a rescue for them or a help to them to come back even there is a hindu phobia why we are talking islamophobia so that is where my interest started and though we are not into a right wing left wing kind of a space i thought it is very essential people say am i making a propaganda movie no i am making a propaganda about why ca not a propaganda of religion or the hatred but uh, oh, for a political party yeah it's not for a political party but it is a purpose for which i want to do a propaganda and uh, this is a movie that is going to be released we'll pick a date as soon as we get a sensor cleared if i look in Mum- mumbai especially uh, as many films are produced that many are not released and as many which films which are produced and get to the screen that many don't get to the screen even i explained we have about five or six films ready to release and it takes time to release fortunately we don't have issue with the financial side of it but to make a film and release a film there are various aspects the commercial aspects financial aspects and timing films that are done but not released most of them are because of some financial issues okay so are you positive in terms of your entire model in terms of bottom line or are you running in negative right now because you would have invested if you've done 30 films you would have invested about at least 200 crores behind all these films if i if i've got it right a number i'm not a public company so numbers are private yeah second i come with a passion with a plan we are going to stay here long term and we've been very successful in understanding the market and understanding the making so i don't see a reason why we will not achieve our target you know i'm saying so far are you positive or are you is your is your bottom line is your balance sheet running negative we Oil. made very very successful movies we have a very successful pipeline and that tells so you are positive numbers. yes fantastic and uh, you also want to make you also making hindi bengali it's not just telugu you are looking at other languages as well that's something you shared with me see i'm looking at a pan world market one of the things i'm going to target next like the platform here i'm going to organize a asian american film awards basically i'll be sourcing hollywood technicians and the actors to come and present the awards to the asian films my immediate plan is how i can expand the presence into the asian countries and definitely i'll look at uh, spain brazil like within asian market china philippines and japan on how we can create a market presence it may take 2 to 4 years but uh, i'm launching some projects with uh, the lead uh, chinese actress uh, with a direct uh, release into china with an indo chinese culture fantastic so it will be released by a chinese company not by you per se because china has a restriction on number of films which can be released in uh, in china yeah. they have a restrictive window release happens with a chinese production okay the making happens with the pmf leading it with collaboration with them fantastic now coming back again to the to the lay of the land in terms of content what has impressed you with telangana i know you're a telugu uh, of telugu origin but what has impl- impressed you with Tel- with telangana and telugu cinema now and the way it's moving forward and where do you see yourself changing it and taking it forward apart from your factory model basically i'm a telugu so i'm affiliated with telugu films and hyderabad today is an epicenter for film making across languages and uh, i want to build my capabilities to bring world film making into hyderabad of course i am not 
just married to hyderabad but i'll be expanding my presence into various uh, locations and uh, we want to source all the best available talent across the globe can we have a round of applause you are so damn silent <laughs> here you have somebody who's putting his heart and soul who's a local and he's putting his heart and soul into building a brand for a global brand for telugu for the for telugu culture as well as for indian cinema one more round of applause please i i just met him today so i'm not i'm not i'm not doing any uh, sucking up to him please i've i've not met him before this but i'm quite impressed with his vision that he has amazing thank you any any last words you'd like to say because i i have kind of uh, uh, i'm still soaking in what you've told me all i say to the film makers is uh, follow your passion be persistent you'll be successful aha and pmf south india film festival presented by sprite luxury partner kolar wellness partner we care hair and skin clinic strength partner bharti cements romance partner cadbury silk and special partner streaks entertainment partner mirchi 98.3 fm and gana outdoor partner lead space digital partner city media influencer partner digiwood supported by the news